Hello everyone. I know I have not posted in my YouTube channel for a very, very long time. And I think this might be the best time to start because Valentine's Day is coming and I was wondering how can I help people on Valentine's Day? Now, what is the basis of, what is the most important thing that helps us have the best things in life, <laughs> even to manifest true love or anything. It's about loving oneself. Am I saying that you cannot manifest something without loving yourself? Absolutely not. This is your world, your rule. You can do anything you want to. But yes, loving yourself makes things much, much, much simpler. And why not? Why not love yourself? What's there not to love? When you have a problem loving yourself, if you are one of the people who do find yourself judging yourself a lot, you must be finding that it's just difficult. Things are, it's not that I'm saying that manifesting things in your life is difficult, but how can you live happily with somebody 24 hours a day for the rest of your life, somebody who does not like you, who does not love you, who hates you. And who else do we spend our life with for the maximum number of time, maximum, um, every moment, every moment of our life, we are with ourselves. So why not love ourselves, right? So on this Valentine's Day, this is my gift to you is to do an EFT tapping session for self-love. Love yourself and sometimes without even trying to manifest love in your life, whether it is romantic love or love from friends, family, anyone. Maybe sometimes you're, you want some certain habits to fall away from your life habits that are damaging to you. Maybe sometimes you want to improve your health, your money condition or anything else. Sometimes just loving us, it was actually most of the times just loving yourself makes all the difference. And um, after the CFT tapping session, I will mention a book by somebody I uh, got to meet on Facebook. He has written a beautiful book and his experience about loving, all he did was loved himself because he couldn't do anything else and everything in his life changed. It's a beautiful story, a beautiful read. I will link that below. So let's begin. And if you are not uh, familiar with EFT tapping, then look below in the description and I will link below another video, which is, the basics of EFT tapping. And there I have given the longest method, the most original, <laughs> the original method of EFT tapping because I've been doing EFT tapping for many, many, many years. So you can watch that for the in-depth of each, each and every point and what it does and everything, but I will be using a shorter method now. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, for the people who are used to uh, working with me, you know how I and many other EFT tapping uh, practitioners, they use the setup statement which goes, even though, whatever, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So I want you to say this after me. Now, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Say it. How true does it feel to you on a scale of one to 10? One being absolutely no, I hate myself. I hope that's not true, but there are people who do hate themselves and that's okay, you can change it. So one is you absolutely hate yourself and 10 is absolutely I love and adore myself. So on the scale, where are you? 
got the number, just pick a number. Don't have to overthink. Think a number, write it down. Done? Now let's begin. Set up statement. Now I'll say a statement. You tap along with me wherever I'm tapping. And then I, after I say a sentence, I will wait. Or just a part of a sentence, I will wait. And then you repeat after me, okay, while tapping. Even though I really don't like myself much, I choose now to deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I find that I judge myself for many things unfavorably, I choose now to deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I really don't think I'm worthy of love because I have so many faults. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I really feel sometimes that I have way too many faults in me. How can I love myself? When I was growing up, there were people who told me that if I don't do this or if I don't do that, I will not be loved. And of course, they were right. They were older than me. Maybe they were my parents. Maybe they were my teachers. And I believed them. So how can I love myself completely? I look at myself in the mirror and I feel that I'm not beautiful enough or not beautiful at all. I don't like to see myself in the mirror. So how do I love myself? I feel like I have failed in so many things. I feel like I have failed in so many things. Then how will I love myself? I see others who are doing so much better than me. And compared to them, I feel like a failure. So how do I love myself? When I see myself, I see a person full of faults. I see a person full of failures and problems. 
So how do I love myself? I find it so hard to love myself. It's easier to love others than to love myself. But I have to live with myself for the rest of my life. So it's much easier to live with a person when they love me. And therefore, I choose to love myself. Of course I have faults. Who in this world does not have faults? And yet I love many, I love many of those people. And so I choose to love myself too. When I choose to love myself, my life just feels more pleasant. When I choose to love myself, I am saying that I choose to be healthy. And therefore, I choose myself and I love myself. When I choose to love myself, others see me as lovable too. And I choose to love myself. If I am feeling lonely today, that's because I had chosen in the past to not love myself. And if I don't love myself, others find it difficult to, to love me. I choose to love myself and I choose to have lovable and loving people in my life. I choose to love myself. And when I gift myself self-love, then I gift myself many other good things in life. The gift of good health, the gift of good finances, the gift of love from others, of a romantic partner, love from my kids, love from my friends, love from family, love from strangers. When I love myself, I fill my life with love. And when I love myself, 
I have greater capacity to love others too. Why not fill this world full of love? Who am I? I am a child of God. And this body is a gift from Mother Earth. When I hate my body, I am disrespecting the gift that Earth has given me. So I choose to love my body exactly as it is right now. Who am I? I am a child of God. When I hate myself, I am telling God, you don't know how to create perfection. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. God does not create junk. Whatever your perception of God may be. I choose to love myself. And I choose to create love in my life. From today, I choose to look at the good things about me. Because I'm not full of 100% false. <laughs> That's not even possible. No person is full of 100% false. So from today, I will make it a point to focus on what is good about me. When I focus on what is good about me, that will grow more. All my talents and skills will become better. So I will choose. In fact, I choose to focus on what is good about me. I choose to love myself. And I choose to invite love into my life. Love of all kinds. Everyone deserves love. So do I. I respect all the beings in this world. I love God's creation. And therefore, I love myself too. I love everything about my body just the way it is right now. I love the way my life is, just the way it is right now. The more I love it, 
the better it gets. Love is a powerful force. Love is a powerful healing force. Whatever I surround with love, whatever I fill with love, whatever I choose to love is healed. So I love myself. I choose to love myself. I choose to love myself deeply and completely. I choose to love myself deeply and completely. I'm worthy of love. Every child of God is worthy of love. I too am worthy of my own love. I love myself. I love myself. Now just for a bit, tap on your heart and say, close your eyes and breathe in pink light into your body. Pink is the color of love, divine love. So breathe in divine love into your body. And say, I love myself. I love myself. I really, really do. I love myself just the way I am. Don't I love my best friend or my child or my romantic partner, my parent or somebody, whoever you love, put their name here. Don't I love this person just the way they are? I do not demand that they become perfect first and then I will love them. Just like that. I give up demanding that I be perfect before I love myself. I love myself just the way I am. I deserve love. I deserve to be loved. I deserve my own love. I'm worthy of love. So why wouldn't I love myself? From this the onwards, I choose to love myself. Now take a deep breath. Grab your wrist, squeeze it. And say peace. Drink some water. It's always a very good idea to hydrate yourself while doing EFT or any kind of energy work. Now say this again after me. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then give it a number from one to 10. Has it improved? Do this tapping exercise daily 
We won't have to do it every day. Do it daily till you get your score up to 10. When we love ourselves, things seem to fall into place automatically without trying. Try it for yourself. Love yourself deeply and completely. And you will see that the world around you is changing, readjusting, repatterning. And you seem to be getting whatever you want without really trying. There are many ways to manifest, many, many, many techniques and ways to manifest things. And this is just a very beautiful way to manifest a beautiful life. Even if you're not trying to manifest anything, hey, why not love yourself? So I was telling you about this person that I um, met on Facebook and he has written this book called Love Yourself Like Your Life Depends On It. So his story is very beautiful. I was very impressed with it. He basically, everything had gone wrong. Everything that you can think of has gone wrong in his life. Had gone wrong in his life. Everything. Just everything. You should you have got to read that book to see. And then he didn't know, he just didn't know how to fix, fix things. He didn't know what to do. So one day he just decided, you know what? I'm just going to love myself through it all. He didn't even know he was going to fix anything or not. He thought, whatever, even if I have no one else with me, even if everything is going wrong, I'm going to love myself. And that's what he did. And he has very simple tips on what he did you know your way of could be different he has given he just affirmed again and again i love myself i love myself i love myself you would look at yourself in the mirror see i love myself and then do a, a simple seven minute meditation in which he imagined light coming into his body while he said i love myself and he said that i think he said within 30 days within 30 days everything started to change in his life Without his even trying, everything became more beautiful. Everything. So read his book if you're curious. And uh, you could do what he did. Or you could just EFT tap yourself every day into loving yourself. You could uh, choose on focusing on good things about yourself. And if you don't know what is good about yourself, ask some other people in your life. Your best friends, people in your family, people who you trust and honor. Ask them to point out what is good about you and then, then you will see it better. Maybe make it a practice to write five good things about yourself every day. You won't have to do it all the time. Just It just gives you, you um, it gets you into a habit of thinking positively about yourself, thinking good things about yourself. So happy Valentine's Day. And this video is not just for Valentine's Day. As you know it, self-love is one of the basic things that we should all have. Have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. And I love you. I will see you next time.